Alright guys and gals, Holmes here and welcome back to Dark Souls. Alright, so today's video is going to be a little bit of um, tying up the loose hands over here in the undead burg areas. Alright, so yeah. First things first, we're going to take out Lodrek. Now, note that if you take him out, you will not be able to obtain his armor later on in the game, alright? So, yeah, be careful of that. Uh, it's only one armor per game. <laughs> So if you want to get his armor, don't kill him right now. Uh, if you don't care, and you're probably trying to get trying to get his armor in the second run, then go for that, you know. But I'm just telling you guys now, if you kill him right now, you won't be able to get his armor for the rest of this playthrough, right? So yeah, um, we're gonna take him out right now just to make our life a bit easier. Because later on, if you don't take him right now, he's gonna have to. You're gonna have to fight him later, and he's gonna have two other phantoms with him, and it's kind of, it's gonna be kind of a pain. So I'm gonna choose to take him out here for the sake of the walkthrough, right? So yeah, you can talk to him for some dialogues. He's gonna act a bit creepy over here. Yeah, he's warning you right there, and let's not be too friendly right now. So, yeah, let's just let's just take him out, right? And if you don't take him out later on, he'll take out the guy, the firekeeper NPC that's gonna be that's right here in the final link, and you won't be able to access this bonfire if you don't take him out right now. So we're just gonna do our thing here. Later, buddy. All right, so. There's good points to taking him out right now because you can get his ring and he'll offer up some humanity too. The only thing you're missing out on is his armor, alright? Uh, I think you can get his sword too. It's, I wouldn't say rare because you can buy that sword. So What you want to do here, if you want to grab his item real quick here, you just want to sign back out, you know, get out of Dark Souls. Low back up your character and once you come back to Fire Link, his item that he drops will be right there so you guys can get his items like that don't worry about losing out like missing out on his items if you kick him off you won't so yeah and he gives up this really good ring the ring of protection thing All right so well I forgot to fade out there <laughs> yeah skipping back here uh, this is this is the undead Berg it's the little ledge on the side before you head up to head up the little tower to fight the tower demon, and down here there's gonna be a black knight, and this black knight is guarding a treasure, the blue ring, the blue tear stone ring, and yeah, you gotta have to take out this black knight, or maybe you can go around, you know, but he he's gonna chase you, so you might as well take him out and get some souls. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Alright, so I suggest you guys use the Drake sword to backstab him because right now I'm testing out like at this point I'm testing out like okay which weapon will have higher critical damage. I mean raw power against critical. Let's see which one does more, right? So here I'm testing out like if I use the bandit's knife to backstab this guy and then use the Drake sword to backstab this guy see which one will do more damage and it turns out the drake sword does more damage so that's what we're gonna be using to backstab this guy okay now see i'm switching back to the drake sword now and trying to get off a backstab here you can block all all the black knight's attack right oh well with the one that uses sword uh... i think you can block all of the black knight later on there's gonna be black knight using other weapons but there are only two black knight that you can't block its attack it's the the black knight with the great great axe and the great sword because they have this one charge up move that will guard break you if you try to guard it alright so <coughs> yeah that's that's those are gonna be the two black knight that you can't block its attack and right here is the blue tear stone ring and I'll just show you guys up um, show you guys what's up with this ring here. Where's the freaking ring? 
I'm in the wrong category. <laughs> yeah, it's right here. Boost is defense when your HP is low. So right when you're about to die, your defense will shoot up. Um, yeah, that's what this ring is about. So that's that. Alrighty, so going back up right here is little stairway to the left. If you keep going up, that's gonna be the tar demon. If you go straight here, if you guys have been watching my walkthrough, uh, right before we go face the tar demon, I was talking about this door right here. And uh, if you go all the way down to the first floor of this little tower area, you will meet an NPC named Havel. And he has this giant ass like freaking I don't know a bat looking thing. It looks kind of like a fang, like right that thing right there. That thing will pretty much murder you if you try to take him on earlier, in the early levels. But right now, if you take maybe all right, because everybody has different builds, all right, different HP. Unless you're following this walkthrough, then you probably have the same thing I do. But yeah, um, right now I can pretty much survive one hit uh, if he hits me twice I'll, I'll be screwed but you can pretty much take one hit I mean at least I took one hit right here without freaking dying so well it does a lot of damage see and that was one handed alright so if he two hands you with an attack you'll probably kick your ass so what you can do is if you're good at dodging you guys can just like dodge around down there you know like dodge Backstab, dodge, backstab, right? Or you can even parry this guy. If you guys think you're parrying, it's up to par, then just parry this guy, you know, repulse, kick his ass like that, right? But for those of you guys that are scared of getting hit, <laughs> don't want to risk going back to the bonfire and coming back here and dealing with all these enemies, then this is another really cheap tactic right here. You can just bait him out of the tower. Cause he sometimes he wouldn't even like do an attack after he comes out of the tower, you know. Like that's his like deadline. He can't pass the tower for long. So here I'm just gonna speed this part up using the chicken the chicken shit move here. <laughs> oh yeah. You can just bait him out here and then do a few attacks. Probably land off two attacks if you're lucky. One one rush dash attack. Yo, you'll pretty much get one dash attack. If you can catch him quick enough, <laughs> you can just nope, no. Nope. Once he gets back into the tower, don't really like don't attack him, right? Attack him when he comes out of the tower, and when he's like backing up, backing up towards the tower, then attack him, right? If you attack him while he's inside the tower, you're pretty much like playing a dangerous game over there because he can attack you in the tower, you know. Like he's back in his normal state if he's in the tower, so I wanna be careful of that. I'm gonna bait him out into these stairs right here. This is the safest spot right here. You can get off like um two attacks if you're lucky. Three, maybe, you know, if you're close enough. So yeah. If you guys wanna play it safe, I suggest you just take one attack and back off. And rinse and repeat, you know. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, still hasn't, still haven't recovered from my coughingness. So yeah, guys, have to bear with me right there. And I think this is it. We got him here. Yeah. And the thing about Havels, you want to take him out. It's because he gives up this really good ring that boosts your endurance up. Oh, not really, not really endurance, but it'll give you a lot of equipment burn, burden. Equipment burden, yeah, and it will boost up your equipment load, right? So you can carry more stuff without overweighting. You know, like when you, you can tell you're overweighting when you're rolling, and then it's really slow, and then you're like your your ass sits on the ground after you roll. That's when your equipment load is overloaded. Yeah, All right. Anyways, up here, this is the undead parish. This is a uh, little tower right after the the rats. That are downstairs. Uh, it's right there. You keep going up, and then you're gonna see this this black knight with a great sword. Now, this guy, when he charges up his attack, right? When he spins around and he charges up his attack with his two hand, when he's two handing the sword and he's charging up his attack, don't 
don't attempt to block it, right? It's it's gonna guard break you. So yeah, that's the only attack you can't block. All right? Uh, let's see. Yeah, you wanna bait him down here. Uh, make him follow you down to the first floor at least. Get out of the tower. And you wanna make him come over here. Try and take him on there. I, I kind of want to take him on there, and then I'm like, oh, it's probably a bad idea. It's kind of cramped over there, so moving along over here. <laughs> Back to the bonfire. That attack, that attack you cannot block, right? So if you guys think you can block that attack, nope, you can't, right? That attack is the his deadliest move right there. You can pretty much block all his other attack. Unless there's an attack that I missed that he does. Yeah, you can block it. Or oh, maybe that attack too. I think that attack can um, guard break you if you're too close to him. But if you're far, like if you're in a medium distance, you can block that attack. So, anyways, we got 9,000 souls and we got some Titanite chunk and some cool rings. Well, that's the tying up the loose end video. And I hope this video has helped you guys out. And I'll catch you guys next time. Alright, Holmes out.